All right. What's up, guys? How's it going? Welcome in. Let's see if I can share this out. Um, let me bring my audio a little closer. Um, hopefully that's all right for you guys. Let me see if I can find my stream. Cool. Okay, so got that. I'm gonna put that up here so I can see the live chat while I play. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do this. All right. Oh, I forgot. I don't have a ship. <laughs> okay. Okay. How do we do this? <laughs> okay. Let's log in. <laughs> oh, dang. Okay. So because I don't have, okay. Let's bring it up to the full cam. I'll come up here for, for a minute while I get uh, signed in. I don't know why it's such a bad, I'm like a floating head. What's up guys, how's it going? <laughs> Let me get stream set up here before I uh, dive into dive into this. Uh, just skip uh, skip ahead if you're watching the replay on this a few minutes and and we'll be good to go. All right, so I'm logging in, and because I'm screen recording, okay. So I just need to get a ship over here, or buy a ship, which we could always do. How are you guys doing today? Welcome in, by the way. Welcome in. Let's do... Let's send out a little bit of soul over. We'll get started. If you guys can't type for some reason, um, send me a message over on Twitter if there's any problems. Hey man, fine, how are you? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. Good to hear you're well. Uh, have you tried Sage 3D yet? All right, so... Now we're going to change the Solana into some Atlas and buy us a ship to play with. This should be good enough. All right, let's switch over here. After we get all connected. We're at the marketplace now. We have about, oh, how much do we have exactly? Ooster GM, how you doing? Ooster Anomaly. Uh, we have 2,800 Atlas about to spend on a ship. So let's go buy one. Um, I don't have it in like the gaming mode. Otherwise it wouldn't show my, my wallet pop up, but this is like my public one, so. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Also, let me actually switch back for one more second. Okay. What ship should we buy, guys? I haven't even looked at the Scud yet. Hey, Solo, what's up? How you doing? $200. Yeah, that's out of my price range for this one. <laughs> How you been, Solo? 
Um, let's see. I always like the Visa solos. Speaking of solo, maybe we pick up one of those. How much are those going for right now? Yeah, yeah, we can grab one. 12 bucks. What do you guys think? Vote. Do we get the air bike? I don't think I can get a Unabomber. Those are up there again. Um, a jet, an X4, or a Solos? Let me see in chat which one should we pick up before we jump into the 3D. And I think I have I think I have the resources already. I guess I could guess I could check in my wallet. You guys are gonna see some wallet contents here. Ammunition, fuel. That's all we have. But that that might be all we need. We have some diamond and food actually. Yeah, we, we should be good. And that and that Sphinx Tegu skin, you know. <laughs> well, I'll give it another few seconds if you guys want to vote in chat for which ship we pick up. We have this uh, Visa Solos, which I believe is a fighter. We have an air bike, a racer, Opal Jet Eraser, and a Pierce X4, which is a fighter, I believe. Can't you get two? Yeah, I could do that. I could do that. We could get two air bikes. I think. Let me check the price real fast. Uh, in Atlas. Yeah, I could. Uh, yeah, I could pick up two. I, we could get two air bikes. Maybe that would be better for the purposes of this. Let's do that. That's good thinking. I like it. Um, so we'll, we'll we'll buy these two air bikes, and then we gotta figure out. Uh, <laughs> The 3D, dude. Oh man, I might, I might just need to do the auto, auto approve for these. What have you been up to these days, so? So we'll come back. We'll connect the sofa. Let's just do the auto approve. Yeah, we don't need auto connect, but we auto approve. I don't think I'm gonna do the Atlas Prime for this one. Um, but it, if you guys are new. Um, what Atlas Prime will do is uh, you can, instead of the transaction fee in Solana, Star Atlas will actually cover that side and you can pay in Atlas. But Atlas price is going up, but so is Solana, but uh, I don't know. Confusion. <laughs> so I'm going to hit no thanks at least to start. We can always turn this back on. I like that we have music again. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, again, this is a uh, this is pre-alpha. You have nine redundant accounts. Um, I don't need to reclaim right now. So what do we have? We have three k ammo. We have a bunch of food. Food. I didn't know I had data units. Awesome. <laughs> Heck yeah, that's a good day. Um, so let's see here then. So here's our items. This is our inventory. Ships. Okay, we're gonna import this item. Oh, okay, this is a fighter, extra, extra small. View and marketplace. Import to CSS. Okay, that's to learn this interface here. So we're just gonna go ahead, click it, hit two. So it's it's already a lot like better for stream and stuff than Labs was. Uh, cool. So. We hit the ship, we come down here, import the CSS, and then we probably just go back here and hit import item. And that should send it to the CSS. Yeah, your ship has been imported, awesome. So now it's showing this here in the CSS. Okay. So let's go over to hangar. Um, cause we're going to probably need it. Yeah. Okay. We're going to do the same thing kind of in labs, right? We're going to, we're going to form our fleet and then we're going to, um, put resources into it. I don't know if I have to actually import the resources. Export to wallet. Oh, interesting. Maybe, oh, this is reading Sage Labs. I was, I already had stuff in there. Okay, this makes sense. Yeah, I had the, this was from the Never Alone series. PG, what's up? How you doing? I had those, uh, remember that mission that was like, you had to do the three golden tickets and you had to find like the 10 SDUs. 
Uh, that's where that's where this stuff is coming from. Okay, yeah, I forgot. It's reading the same stuff. Okay, so we already have this in game, um, and then yeah, we imported our ships. So now we just have to form the fleet. Uh, yeah, we're gonna. Oh yeah, we get to drag here, huh? This is cool. Um, do we keep them together at first? No, let's form two fleets. And we'll name a, the first fleet. Um, solo for Solo D. Busy days of traveling for work, farming IRL, and hanging out with my four year old. Oh, that's awesome! That's awesome. So we got a fleet for, called Solo. Traveling for work. Hope work is going well. That's awesome. I'm uh, I want to have uh, my first next year. I'm nervous. My first kid. <laughs> About time though. Okay, let's. Uh, I'm old. I'm getting old. Um, so go over here. Drag that in, put the one, apply. Hey, yeah, thank you, thank you. Have you done anything uh, with uh, Pokemon recently? Enter a fleet name, okay. This one will be Well, Emmer was the first one in. Emmer, I'm going to mix some names. Emmer, Anom, Ali, OG. For all the rest of the people that were in here. Appreciate you guys coming and checking out the stream. Did that work? Or not? Did I actually form it? <laughs> okay. Did I do something wrong? All right. Let's do that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Form fleet. So we should be good. What's everybody up to these days? I'm just kind of living in Star Atlas. I have two videos I'm trying to get out before the end of the year. Um, one of them is heavily dependent on what Star Atlas drops the rest of this year. Um, the second one is like very artistic and you, you'll you see. You'll see, I'll drop it. I'll drop it later. Cool. Okay, manage. Okay, so let's let's look at some of these these features here. We have the manage. What is this symbol here? I'm wondering what this is. Okay, so we're just gonna hit full refuel. Okay, so up here, the three dots is where you refuel and rearm. Maybe. <laughs> Confirmed, okay, cool. Full rearm. No ammo in Starbase. Okay. I made test flight for people who can't start UE5 so they can see where... Oh, nice! That's awesome. Yeah, I need a, I need a computer before I can try that UE5 stuff. Okay, it's already on here. Okay, so we have to get ammo. Not enough fuel, no fuel in the service to fuel. Okay. Okay. So let's go back to inventory. Oh, okay. Here we go now. I thought I had, we had a bunch, but maybe not. I haven't played Pokemon since 2020 and stopped collecting for the most part. 
it's hard to keep up with it these days. I do you ever have a friend who's uh, becoming a hardcore collector? So that's fun to see. That is fun to see. I I'd really like watching my friends, you know, still collect. A lot of people, you know, that I used to talk to in the old days too. Um, but yeah, I haven't I haven't really played it in a while. I've done a few of those like breaks online where you can you know buy the packs and have um, the card store open them and they send it to you. So I've done a few of that. Um, but yeah, part of me like yeah misses making content there but it just never be the same i'm living in norway you know i'm not near that league i'm not near those people and yeah so even though the ending wasn't what i would love would have loved it's a great still uh an amazing time nonetheless anyways let's import some fuel Do I only have 18? Dang. Maybe we just fly around. Okay, here's 3K. Let's let's import the food at least. Yeah, let's just do that. Did it did it work? Okay, yeah. Okay, cargo's been imported. But why was it saying, no, why was it saying there's not enough ammo? There's 3K here in the star base. Was I just, or am I just doing the system wrong? Like for example, uh, let's go over back to our items. Can I just drag this into here? Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, cause it's not enough. Or me is too much. So fuel is four fifty. I need four fifty. Interesting. You think it would just go to the actual ships total instead of like doing all total fuel? That's a little weird. I kick myself all the time for not buying forty two dollar base packs from Johnny. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's, yeah, good old, what a time, good old Johnny. I don't, I haven't talked to him in a while, but it looks like, at least from social, that he's doing well. But yeah, 42 base would be awesome. Okay, so we're getting the hang of it here. It's easier to just drag in and, and put the ship's total. Um, I think in the future... It'd be awesome if they changed that to, of course, um, yeah, being capped at what the actual ship can hold. Okay, now we have fuel, we have ammo, we can go out and mine if we have a little food. I have no idea what this food cost would be. Uh, our cargo hold capacity... I don't, I don't even know. Let's put in a hundred. See what that does to our cargo. I mean, I'm guessing... No, let's put in less. Let's put in like 40 and see what happens. Because we need that to mine? Yeah, we need the food to mine. I'm like forgetting everything. It's the same thing as Sage Labs. It's just a different interface almost. But yeah, I'm so I'm trying to think of like one of my like worst moves in in Pokemon. Yeah, sixteen percent should be fine. Let's go back over to our ships. Hangar. We'll switch to the solo and then come back to the inventory. Okay. Uh, ammo is also oh, it's the same ship, so it's one. It's the same. It's one oh four. One oh. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, we're figuring it out here. Um, I like it. It's just, yeah, it's just different. So it just takes, of course, a little bit of time. Um, so hopefully it's auto approved will work. I'm putting 40 food here. Yeah, we have the resources. We're good. Anyone starting out, um, 
you really just need the a ship and R4, which is food, ammo, fuel, and toolkits. Toolkits right now will be used for scanning, but in the future they'll be used for other things, so they're great to pick up. Um, all cheap items, of course. Um, cool. We have two fleets now in our hangar. Let's undock these and see if we can figure out where this, like, the 3D map is. Um, so, yeah, we're going to undock Solos or Solo. Then we're going to dock Erm Anomaly OG. So I think one of the worst ones is I sold a ton of the Lily full art um, for $10. And I'm not joking, like a few days later was the weekend. It shot up to 30 plus. And that was a bad beat, not because it like I lost out on 20 bucks, but I lost out on a lot more because <laughs> it was a good chunk of those. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello, Star Atlas man. Hey, Feta91. How you doing? Okay. So for those of you new over here on the right, um, which you can't see, we have like notifications and then it'll show. It's basically just a closed tab and showing your name. Over on the left, which you can see, we have um, the Mud CSS. This is going to be our current um, location and our starting star base. We have our hangar where we form fleets and then we can see our docked ships. We have our inventory where we can import and export resources and store resources. And we have crafting, which once we go out and mine and get resources like hydrogen, we can bring them in, deposit them, and then start crafting fuel um, and other items from, from the ship. So we just undocked our two ships that we supplied with... Um, resources okay and then if i hit this tab on the left we have marketplace which we don't need to go to uh star atlas sage labs and discord why do they have all that in here i guess just a quick quick jump but where do we get to them where do we get to the map Okay. Is it overview? No, that's where, okay. So we can hit overview and we have those guys. Is it close? Or, okay, so you have to hit close on the right, which I absolutely hate because it feels like that means you're closing down the game. If you, we all know upper right hand side is the X button. And if it says close, we don't actually think that goes to the 3D map. We think it closes the game. I don't like it. I'm sure they'll hopefully change it. Um, but then I'm gonna use my cursor to scroll in. And this is the MUD CSS. And as you can see, the two fleets that we just um, undocked are sitting out here ready to be used. Yeah, that, yeah, for sure need to change. Dude, this is cool. I do like it. Let's see. Oh, interesting. I'm moving. Okay, so you can't see it, but W kind of scrolls in or moves forward. I have to scroll way back. I, I want to right click and drag, but it doesn't look like it's going to let me. Oh, but I can just do that with the left cursor. But uh, Q moves me this way, and E moves me this way. Okay, and S, S, of course, the normal gamer. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm going to get this back to where I want to see. Okay, here we go. Here we're fine. We're fine. Maybe. Sorry for learning this system. Okay. Sorry, such a bad view now. 
was not support to ha uh yeah when is that honey game coming out uh, i keep doing that i'm sorry guys i'm learning this is weird once you get out of like okay here we go i'm kind of learning it then what if i want to go this way without it Why isn't this easy? Okay. I'm gonna click on one of the fleets. We have a managed fleet and it's cargo bay. We have also two little symbols that I'm not sure. Is that warp and sub warp? So this is mud one one. That's mud one two. How do we do things? Let's see. So I'm gonna click this one, which brings up the same thing, manage fleet. So we have detail and cargo. Okay. Have you guys played around with this yet? <laughs> this is so confusing. <laughs> uh, I mean, of course, this is pre-alpha. This is pre-alpha. Oh, this is self-destruct. Yeah, no thanks. Oh, okay, I need to click in the asteroids. Thank you. Oh, I see. So instead of the ships, how do I click in? Observe, details. Do I have to click here and then click here? In labs until I know how to use it. Yeah. The nice thing is I heard, I'm not, I have to test it. But I heard that if you do all the commands in labs, you can actually just leave this open and you'll see your ships doing the same things, which would be cool. I also think it would be kind of fun to just have like a 24 hour live stream of like your stuff running in labs and, you know, hopefully it's entertaining enough with some chill music. I don't know. Okay, so we have to click into the asteroids. Observe. Let's just observe. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so I can hold and drag too. Can I do that on the... See, this is a nice view. Awesome. Uh, I'm, do I'm undocked. Look at this, guys. This is awesome. Very cool. Mud CSS. I'm so confused. Oh, okay. I'm learning. I'm learning. Manage fleet. Nope. I'm not learning. Cargo bay. <laughs> nice view. Like, click here, right? Observe or enter. But here, I don't have... I don't have another option, unless it's in details. No, this is just telling me about the asteroid belt. Well, let's check. Um... Let's make sure we're undocked. Yeah, we're undocked. It's strange. Help! This is probably gonna like jump out and be so obvious at some point. Let me just double check. Nope. Start, okay, what's this? Overview, settings, messages. Yeah, I tried that once. Unless if it's that. 
So what are these two symbols again? Is that warp and subwarp? Help. I need a content creator to make me a tutorial. <laughs> That's my job. I feel dumb. I feel like there has to be something obvious. But hey, at least we could show Star Atlas this video and uh, they'll be like, okay, we need to make this idiot proof. Okay, so let's click on everything. So we have observe and enter here. We have observe and details there. Anything else that the, other than observe and details? No. This isn't your know, details, it's just observe. So I'm guessing, uh, like PG said, the asteroids are where we're going to mine. Okay, now I'm figuring out this view stuff. Yeah, that'll be a little bit back. All right, maybe not. When you click on it, I feel that that menu should pop up, not like right click on it. But maybe I'm I'm wrong. We can't do anything but observe in this view. I mean, it's beautiful, but Yeah, we could try. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh go ahead and let's go ahead and refresh and see if it's a bug. I mean, I, this is, of course, pre-alpha, and Michael Wagner also said, hey, it, it might be broken, it, you know, when I did my the post about the stream. So, yeah, maybe it's just, maybe it's just that. Here, I'm going to go over to my full screen real fast. Oh, that was close. Hmm. All right, let's see if it works this time. It's probably a button somewhere. It has to be managed fleet, right? You would think, okay, let's, let's go over here. And then we should be able to like hit enter sector. Yeah. So when you, when you're at the sectors, you have to right click and do uh, enter. And then we'll see our ships here. We get in view of an asteroid. I'll move this over. Unless if I can just click in it now. This feels like what? That's self-destruct. These are warp and subwarps likely. Manage fleet. Details. Hey, Hagnes, how's it going? Or Hunis? Hunan? I I've always wondered how to exactly pronounce. Okay. Details or not? 
Details just made everything disappear. Help! Okay, <laughs> I guess we need a refresh again. <laughs> I had details and everything goes away. Have you played this? Yeah. All right. I will say though, what do you what do you guys think watching? Is it already more entertaining to watch at least than um than Labs is? Cuz that's for me that's the point. I'm trying to not have the green screen have a Did that fix it? Yeah, I guess so. All right, here we go again. Let's hit S to go back. Click on LUDs, yes, S, enter. Yeah, all of this is cool, it's just... Try it this morning, gonna wait a few weeks till bugs are ironed out. Uh, High Plains Drifter, that's probably a good idea. I think there's some bugs in a, uh, that need to be worked out, like you said. And then I also think... Ah! Oh, <laughs> ah! I did it! <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> PG was right, except I did it in the I did it in the wrong order. Okay, so <laughs> I was clicking on my fleet and then left slash normal clicking on the item. But what you have to do is highlight your fleet, then go over, and instead of just clicking to highlight the asteroid, you have to right click it. That I'm whatever. Whatever. <laughs> what should we send our uh, other fleet to do? So if we if we watch now, one of our ships should be heading over here to mine. Okay, but these still both say, oh, mining initiated. Okay, it just went through. Nice. Okay, so that appeared over there. Let's check this out. Oh, here, no, let's just go here and click observe. Heck yeah. Look at this. This is awesome. Nice. This is really cool. Well, you know. Oh, yeah, then it tractor beams the material up into the ship. That's so cool. Watch, it'll do it again here. After it gets like a payload's worth. There it goes. There it goes. That's cool. I like that. So this is kind of memorizing actually. So this is what I was talking about. Like if you just had some music going, no content creator or anything, it might like actually be kind of fun to watch this. All right, so which fleet was this? Let's, let's return. All right, so now we have um, one of our fleets mining. Let's highlight this fleet. This is the Anomaly OG. Okay, so if that's mining, what else can we do? We could craft if we go back, if we had the materials to craft. Um, we, could, we could go to a different sector. Let's, let's try traveling to a different sector. So what if I... How do I do that? So I have him highlighted. How do I go back to the wider map? Here's all your stuff. That's that's something next to figure out, right? So, okay, if you scroll back on your scroll pad far enough, it'll bring you out. Okay, so let's have this dude come to subwarp to mud two and we'll check it out enter cool 
And where is this star base? Is this it? Enter. It hasn't brought our ships yet though. This is, okay, this is, yeah, mud two, star base two, minus 34. Okay, we're gonna exit the star base, right? How do we fly with our dudes? Okay, we're gonna zoom back out again with our trackpad. Zoom into mud CSS. Okay. Is this guy? Right click. Okay, so the right click doesn't do anything. It's just this. Um, how do we fly now? Yo, what's up? How's it going? What should I sh call you on YouTube? Your Discord name or? <laughs> it's a porter. How you doing? Disable premium? Yeah, I think I have it disabled. Let's check. Yeah. Yeah, I have a disable. Yeah, I need to disable Atlas for sure. Any bugs? Uh, I don't think that, not that I have run into yet. I think we had to refresh once. Uh, actually, yes, one bug. Um, I was clicking on the CSS for details and everything was taken away so I couldn't do anything. Um, it was just like the map. Um, I didn't get it working myself too last night. Yeah. Yeah. Try again today. I think I'm, I'm figuring it out slowly. It's not like, I don't know if I'm just having trouble figuring out or if it's just not like beginner friendly enough or, um, intuitive or whatever. Um, let me just go over for those coming in my uh, main problems so far the two the two gripes I have so far one of them is when we enter the CSS right we're in here um, you know you could figure it out loading up your ships whatever uh, and that's fine but when you want to get to the 3d map there's no like over on the left side I feel like it should be like enter Gallia or um, 3d view or map view like down here somewhere that we don't have you actually have to go up and to the right side you can't see it on stream but it looks like a normal like close down game button it says close but that's what you have to do you have to hit the close to come back here and i guess what they're thinking is like oh that's fine because you're in the star base whatever they're going to figure out that you have to close but no because that's kind of where we start right um bringing our ships in and doing our resources so close seems like close down the game to me um yeah oh is it in the hangar is, it, is that part in the hangar that would be cool but like still to me docked form fleet Oh yeah, no, I don't. I don't see a go to Galia unless we're talking about different things. Yeah, and not over here as well. Yeah, you just have to hit close. Um. So that's that's the number one thing. I think it should be like return to map, or return to Galia, or exit Starbase. Uh, just not close, right? Um, the other thing that was kind of hard to figure out at first, but it it's not really a problem, is like, for instance, if I wanted to go mine, I was trying to click on here. So this is the normal click, it doesn't do anything. Right click only has observe or details, and that's because we haven't highlighted our ship. But that's not my issue. It's I highlight the ship, and then I want to normal click on the asteroids, but that's just not how this uh, game works. 
So you have to click the ship and then right click and then you can hit the mine. That took me forever <laughs> to figure out. I don't know why. <laughs> it just took me forever. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll have to do a tutorial on this. <laughs> Or maybe I'm just dumb. And that's fine, too. We all have our strengths, right? Okay, so... Next thing we have to figure out on this stream is how to freaking warp and subwarp. If you guys know, drop it in chat. Um, I don't know. I feel like I need to still highlight this. I feel like one of these are sub warp and warp, but they're not buttons. Unless if it is a button. And I just have to go select something. But okay, so like I enter this and I almost want to hit. Like how many people are going to figure out to just scroll all the way back to leave the sector? Like, I, I, there needs to be, like, a exit sector or something. Okay. I want to enter this mud, too, right? But I don't have any ships here. So how am I getting my ships inside of mud, too? Because if I enter here, that won't work because it's just me going in and looking at it. But maybe if I click... No, I can't click mine. Is there a way to enter or travel to this sector. I'm not seeing it. Um, scroll out, then highlight the fleet for the warp option. Okay, let's try that. Oh, that's probably what? Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, no, that's mining. Okay, so we need this ship. Yeah, I forgot that you could see the ships from this view. And then maybe we warp or subwarp, or maybe it's okay. If I highlight that, then enter. Does that do something different? That's pro we're you're. I think I'm on the right track, but I don't think I just figured it out. Okay, so one of these is mining. Okay, this is the one that's not mining. Yes, we figured it out together. Scroll out, then highlight the fleet for the warp option. Yep, okay. So now, uh, oh, right, okay, okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Not regular highlight. Okay, so I'm gonna sub warp. How do I know where I'm going? Is it just here? Yeah, it has to be here. But still, it, I, I want um, I want coordinates. I want to know that that is exactly where I need to go. Or at least have like, see how this has the little, no? That little dot there? Okay, this is cool, but I need to, I need to know I don't know which one is, is which. Is it this one? I want to say it's that one. Yeah, definitely, definitely Porter. Okay, well I did that. Let's wait a second for the transaction to go through. And hopefully we'll start subwarping over there. Yeah. Okay. Subwarping. Cool. Okay. 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 We're slowly getting this. We're slowly getting this, friends. <laughs> I don't know why this is so hard. It's not that hard. You guys are right. You guys are giving me some good pointers. Okay. So now we have mining down. We have mining down and then we have warping and sub warping down now. You have to you have to exit the sector. You have to highlight the ship, 
but not with the normal click highlight, the right click highlight, and then warp sub warp. Um, what else is there? Scanning. Let's see. Let's see uh, uh, as it gets to this destination. Let's let's see if we can scan. It says Porter was timed out by stream elements. What'd you do? <laughs> or is that just being uh, sensitive? Let's see. Hold on one second. We just leaked all the discords I'm in. No. <laughs> it's regular. Okay. Um are you are you moving? Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, we have we have nine minutes. I just use emojis. Oh okay. I'll have to go look at that. Uh I've just had a look at crafting lots of new stuff in there. Like new uh, items and stuff? Or just like um, the way it works? Is this... Okay, I, I do want to hear opinions though. If I had more ships going, right? Um... Is this entertaining enough for a stream? Like if I added like music and graphics and stuff, or do we still just wait for like UE5 racing time? So, okay, let's, um, let's go ahead and enter. AI music, yeah. Dude, I found some cool AI music stuff. Well, how do I check? Okay, let's let's do this. How do I check its mining stat? Like, can I see? Like how full it is yeah is that possible do more live maybe cargo oh yeah maybe cargo bay was that part of it there yeah maybe cargo bay good call uh it's not it's not updated details no. Yeah, it, sh it would be nice to have like um, mine, blah, 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 hydrogen. If it's gonna, yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, I like that, that's cool. That's a good idea, high planes. That's, Let's stop mining and just see what happens. Uh, I'll have to do it next time in like game in the game mode so I could just keep it up. Mining stopped. Okay. So, what happened to that ship? Cargo bay. Okay, yeah, we were at capacity. Now we have 220 hydrogen. Awesome. That's cool. So, let's go bring that back to the CSS. Um,. Interesting. So now what do we do here? Do we just enter and then dock? Final reclaim. Um, hangar. 
docked form fleet. Oh, I know what it's going to be. I know what it's going to be. We're going to do the same as it is mining. We just highlight that, then right click, then dock. Nice. Yep. I got it now. <laughs> and then we should be able to enter. So that's not in yet. Okay. Uh, okay. There it goes. Confirmed. Boom. Awesome. Okay. So we have undock cargo disband. Let's go look at cargo. Um, I'm sure it's, is it going to be an inventory? Uh, no, I can't take the hydrogen and drag it like the other times. Can I right click on the hydrogen? No. No. Let's go back to the hangar. Cargo. I already did that. Okay. What? Okay. So this is what it's bringing up. Let's just exit and try that again. Okay. So cargo. How do I do this? Oh, there's a there's a bug. It brought that over onto this one. What do you guys think? Any ideas? Full refuel, full rearm. Cargo hold capacity. Can I not just deposit cargo by a quick deposit cargo button? Will this span just do it? <laughs> is that the cheat code? Or is it details? No. Yeah, I try to drag it out. But it, when I try to drag it, it takes the whole thing with it. But you would think you would drag it out just like dragging it in, right? So that's weird. Um, maybe, maybe here? Oh, do I have to be on... Okay, I think I think the dragging with is a bug. What the hell? Okay, so that's that must be somewhat of a bug so, cuz you're supposed to drag it out when you're on this inventory tab. But it was dragging the whole thing with it. Interesting. And that does the full amount. Well, I guess that one makes more sense. Okay. Okay, now let's check out crafting. And to craft, we have to remember to go ahead and disband the fleet. So the crew member is inside. I am excited for the future of this though, guys. Like this is very, very base level pre-alpha. Like, imagine all the features from labs in here, but then also, like, building star bases. We'll have a guild affiliation. Um, and then, yeah, combat and stuff. 
I think this will build out like super well. Okay, so let's go to crafting. Recipes. Start new recipe. Oh no, recipes. We'll just wait. It's I think it's being a little slow. Yeah, this is cool though. Or am I doing the right thing? Well, uh, hey to everybody watching. Appreciate you guys for coming in and checking out the stream. We're just trying to figure stuff out. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, that fixed it. A lot of stuff has has taken us quite a while. Some some simple things uh, like learning how to mine and warp and sub warp. <laughs> okay, so we have tier. Okay, we have them in tiers now. So that's cool. So we have tier one, tier two, tier three. Is there new stuff here? Or, oh, it's just the way it's done, you were saying. Yeah. So these are like things that require SDUs. Tier four. Tier four. I think I had some tier three stuff. Interesting. Oh yeah, radiation absorbers, that's tier three. All right, let's do some fuel. So, okay, so you have to click on it, then you have to do set recipe. Oh yeah, here's our crafting system. This is cool. Awesome. So we do that, then we probably just go up as high as we can. Does it give you uh, 200? I don't know how many we can do. Because it's not changing. Well, whatever. Let's just do... The max button doesn't work yet. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, hopefully they'll get that fixed soon. Let's do, let's do, I don't know, 25 fuel. Oh, I didn't set the crew. Okay. We have one crew member. Cool. Begin crafting. We'll see if this works. A little bit of a bug right here with this um, coming over the cancel and reset button. Uh, this pattern. And so far, the beginning crafting. Let's, let's give it a few seconds for the transaction to go through. See if it does go through. Yeah, this is interesting. It's just a new thing to learn, right? I mean, Sage Labs was kind of the same for me at the beginning. It took me forever to get used to stuff. Now I'm just flying through, <laughs> you know, a bunch of different tabs and stuff. And it'll be the same here. All right, let's try the button again. It didn't really do anything. Okay. Is it maybe just not being able to be crafted yet? Oh, 
Oh, I see. That's interesting. So as I'm going up in here, yeah, okay, cool. I don't think crafting works. Yeah, maybe not. But this is how you would craft if it was working. That's cool. So again, you go over here, you select your recipe. Yeah, it brings you to a screen like this. Because this is saying empty when this should be, yeah, showing a crew member here. Yeah, it definitely looks cool. I do like it. All right, well, let's go back then and, and do the process again so we can get our guy back out and um, mining, form fleet, inventory, Or what? Oh, okay. Manage fleet. Go back over to inventory. Fuel is 450. Little good review for those of you just coming in on how to do everything. Our small tooth sawfish fleet because i didn't name it this fuel should oh yeah there we go confirmed there that is updated this is we have 104 capacity for ammo apply this is the only part i don't like but you know they're gonna fix this you know very easy There's our hydrogen we mined. Everything's looking pretty. Should be confirming here shortly. Well, it does. I'm, I am going to bring over the food and do the the forty that we uh, that we put in. So that we can mine. We'll see if I remember everything. <laughs> Cool. Go back to the hangar. We're ready to go. We're going to undock. And then we're going to hit that clothes button that I really love. We got our guy here. We're going to click on it normally, then we're going to right click on the asteroid once it's selected and hit mine. Start. And that should be mining soon. Once it goes through. Yeah, there we go. Confirmed. And there we go. It's off and started. All right, let's go check on our other fleet guys. Again, like, look at this. Our bike is mining and it looks so good. I love it. It just really brings like the universe to life. And I love the tractor beam that's gonna appear here in a second, bringing that resource into the ship. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> that's awesome. Cool, cool. I just docked and can't work out how to unload cargo. Yeah, yeah, we were just trying to figure that out. There's a little bit of a bug, yeah, with it. You had to dock, then you have to go to inventory and drag the hydrogen or whatever it is out, but it like takes the whole window with it. So, well, yeah, I don't know. Here's our ship over here. Going around this star. Let's see the cargo bay. Okay, so this fuel should be a lot, like it's still 100%, which shouldn't be. 
So I don't know if I can get back, but while we're here then, <laughs> might as well, oh, I can't mine here. Why? Oh, do I not have food? No, I have food. Do I have to like discover the region? That's interesting. Maybe it's just like, hey, they wanted to release it. Uh, is it true that King Crab is cheap in Norway? <laughs> oh, man. I'm not sure. I would love King Crab, and I should have it more. I feel like it's a stop fleet. Oh, is this still a sub warping? No. I well, to be fair, no food is really that cheap in Norway. But I guess if I had to think about it, yeah, a crab is gonna is gonna probably be a little cheaper than in the states, maybe. How much is how much is it in the states again? Like on average. Like maybe if you bought it like straight from the market, but yeah, if you went to a restaurant, the the restaurant prices here in Norway are crazy. Like a like if if I went to go get a beer, it's no less than like ten bucks. Like for just like a normal beer on tap. I remember seeing Gordon Ramsay show where they cut a hole in a fjord. They were everywhere under the ice. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> it's probably around there. Or or for the US. No, I guess it would probably if you're talking restaurant, it'd probably be cheaper than that. Same in Sweden. I still need to get to Sweden. I haven't been there yet. I also started to notice that um, solo the last time that beer is going up in the States. I was like, what's this? I'm usually like, I'm used to coming in and, you know, going to the, you know, a bar and getting like a, you know, $4 beer. And by used to, I mean like 10 years ago when I... <laughs> Plus, when I was like in the in my young beer days. Now I'm in my old beer days. I have a beer Christmas calendar. They're like hidden in these little like uh, cardboard things, and it has the day on it. So yeah, we're counting down Christmas. <laughs> yeah, there's like eight to ten dollars. Yeah, that's so we're roughly the same. Probably fifteen for a cup of Coors. Yeah. Yeah, those games, man. Okay, so why can't I mine here? It's just stop. Oh, oh. Because we were sub warping. I have to stop the fleet. That's all right. In this kind of game, I guess. It almost doesn't. When you have it in the 3D environment, I almost don't like that. Now we can probably mine. Yeah. Actually, hold on. Now, because we were we exited, we can actually probably see the cargo bay. Oh yeah, so our fuel only went down a tiny bit because we were subwarping. Awesome. So let's go ahead and mine over here. This is iron ore, and we'll go ahead and start. A beer in Star Atlas is four to six dollars. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's how it's done. 
I like it. <laughs> yeah, I... One of my favorite places, and it was actually, like, taken down eventually. It's a chain, but it's not as corporate as it is now. So, like, I went to a place called Old Chicago's because they would have, like, beer tours. So me and my friends, like, early 20s, mid 20s, maybe a little part of the later 20s as well, would go there and do these, like, beer tours where you would have to, like, complete, like, 8 to 10 beers for the month. Um, and then you'd get, like, a prize, right? Um, so that was, that was pretty fun. Um, their food, I liked the personal pizzas, all right, but, uh, I'm more of a fan of New York pizza, and that's what they serve as a uh, Chicago pizza, um, Chicago style, which is okay, but I'm just, yeah. I prefer the New York style. So I didn't like always eat there, but yeah, we would always meet up with my friends and have there. That's where I had my first beer. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a good memorable time. Sure, it's centered around alcohol, but <laughs> oh well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, in Star Atlas, we have, what, the Bounty Bar. I'm actually kind of waiting for somebody to uh, make either a Star Atlas beer brand or, like, another bar or something like that. I thought about it, but I just have so many different projects. I have the coffee one, and we just are doing this guild right now, a guild experiment, the Dead Guild. Um, and then I have this, you know, Atlas Theory content. So I probably should stay away from creating another brand at the moment. <laughs> yeah, so very inclined to be memorable. For sure. Or oh, stories. Stories. Yeah, not stars. <laughs> stories. Yeah, dude, I lived out most of my 20s. I guess that, like, for instance the coffee shop from friends or the bar from how I met your mother, like that, that old chick, that in particular old Chicago's was our, that, you know, yeah, it was awesome. Although my most memorable stories surrounding beers are in China. <laughs> I went a little crazy there. <laughs> uh, but now I've mellowed out. I'm being an adult. Cool. So we're mining in two places. And what do you think, guys? Is that a good overview? Here's Gallia, of course, for those that are new. Here's the... Um, Mud area, the three factions of Star Atlas. Mud, which is like humans. Oni in the top left, which are um, a consortium of alien races. And over on the right is Ooster, which is uh, sentient androids. Um, really cool uh, game. And this is just part of it. There's also one being built on Unreal Engine five and q1 next year we're going to have combative racing there's also going to be like uh third person shooters um so there's a lot coming um that are entertaining us while they build out this full game but also this metaverse that they're considering did uh, scott carpenter yeah chinese bars are why <laughs> true <laughs> Galia be like Christmas tree. So actually this does kind of look like that. <laughs> I 
have to uh, leave. Thank you for showing me the first steps. Really um, helpful. Have a nice day. Of course, you're welcome. Have a good rest of your day as well. It's your anomaly. Um, yeah, guys. Dude. Oh, man. China were some good days. I loved it. Oh, man. Well, guys, I think I think that's a good first tutorial. We at least saw the crafting. We were mining. We sub-warped and exited. And, you know, and you guys should have, I think, all the steps now. Other than scanning, that was the one thing we, we didn't do. Um, but I doubt that's... I don't know. If crafting is not ready, I don't know if scanning is ready. Um... But yeah, let me know if you guys want to see more streams. I would have to get a bunch of new ships in here, I think. So, like, the mining would be going wild. We'd be crafting, you know, moving around a lot. You know, scanning ships and such. So, but definitely a possibility with this more interactive interface. Uh, definitely better for streams. But I think if I can get the computer, we're going to go so crazy when the showroom... R2.2 comes out. That's the UE5 um, version I was talking about. That's going to be so awesome. Um, thank you guys for watching. And yeah, I think I think I'll end it here um, and let anybody who, who rewatches it not have too much to to sift through. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section for those of you rewatching. Um, and I really appreciate everybody coming and checking out the stream. All right, cheers, guys. Uh, I'll see you soon. See you soon. You should. There should be two big Star Atlas videos that I get out by the end of the year. Have a good one, guys.